Well, Hamzat, uh, this card has two championship fights, but it feels like all the attention is being placed on you and Gilbert. I'm just curious what you think of all the attention that you're receiving for this fight. Working. Yeah. Of course, everyone look at my fights, you know. Everyone has seen me. That's why all, everyone want to see that fight more than the other fights, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'm the king. Everyone wants to see kings, you know. Does it bring any extra pressure? I mean, do you feel pressure at all? I mean, all this attention on you so early in your career, and it seems like you have to be perfect and destructive every time out there. Do you feel any of that? No, nothing. Like, it's the same shit. You're going to go in there, smash the guy. You know, if you have some pressure, give me, I broke that. When you look at Gilbert, uh, the style that he has, the experience that he has, is he the most difficult matchup that you've had so far in your career? I don't think so. Does his jujitsu concern you at all? It seems like he may have the this, grappling. This is, this is not jujitsu. This is not wrestling. This is a MMA. This is fighting. Uh, and it's not like take the gear and hold somebody. I gotta smash his face everywhere. If you win impressively here, I've got to think people are going to be calling for a title shot. Are you ready for a championship matchup already with a victory here? I'm already the champ. The guy doesn't want to fight me. Then I go out, I have surgery, something, you want to go to the boxing somewhere, and uh, he can fix his arm. How are we going to go to the boxing? I don't know. And the other guy talks, he didn't fight like somebody top 10, and they always find some excuses, you know. I'm ready, I'm already the champ. People know that. Would you wait for uh, Usman to fight Leon Edwards, or do you feel like you should cut in line and shouldn't even have to wait for that fight? Uh, if they, they do it, that fight, uh, somebody care about that fight, I don't think so. Dana White want to make that fight. You know, like Leon Edwards, nobody know that guy. And uh, Usman is the same, you know. Nobody want to see that guy. Everyone see me there and smash the ball. If they give me both guys same night, I'm going to smash them both. Do you see either one of those guys as a more difficult challenge for you? Don't think so. Nobody now in this division. Nobody. Last thing for me, I guess, uh, how do you see this fight ending? I mean, can you go destroy this person in a minute and a half again, or is this going to be a battle back and forth? What kind of fight do we see? Not back and forth. I'm going to go in the cage, and like I do always, and take his head and go home. Hamzad, have you been impressed with what Gilbert Burns has done since he moved up to the welterweight division? I mean, he's fought for the title. He's on a long win streak. What have you made of what he has done since what moving he, up? In this division, he loses like when it comes to Usman. He loses and start to cry. And he beat like old man who was like, you know, like, what is his name? Damien Maia, almost, almost 40 years old. Uh, who is beating there? I don't know. I will fight 84 kilos, 77, and he come up from 70. And he start to cry when he loses his fight. No. Uh, nothing. Nothing. He can't do nothing to me, you know. I'm going to smash that guy. You talked about what could happen if you win this fight. Would you get the bump up, maybe leapfrog Leon to get the title fight? If that were to happen, would you feel bad about it? Because everyone feels like Leon's on this long winning streak and maybe he's not as popular as you he are. He almost you lost his last fight to Nate Diaz. You know, like that skinny guy. And I, I don't know. If he he, he did he, it was three rounds three rounds was that yeah five rounds and last round he gets tired if he gets tired against the uh, Diaz what are I gonna do with this guy <laughs> he gonna get the tired after four first minute I gonna knock him out you know Maybe this guy not that level not my level eh? you know I don't know people doesn't want to see that guy and last thing for me. Outside of maybe you leapfrogging into a title fight, other people have suggested that if you go out and win, maybe they match you and Colby up for a number one contender fight. Would you be up for that? And if so, how would you sort of gauge that matchup? I will be happy if they do that, but I don't think so. That guy, when I fight me, he's going to go to the Cubs if they fix that guy. <laughs> he's going to go to the Cubs, call the Cubs, you know, like Dana White will be in the jail if they make that fight. You know? And like he always does. He talked too much in the media, and then when he sees the face-to-face -face and he go to the Cubs, you know, this is not that guy, sir, and to be here. Uh, I'm, 
if I'm honest, I usually have to kick him out. He's a bitch. Hamzat, over here. If if you beat Burns, um, is the title shot, is that what you want next? I, I, or is that what makes sense for you? I don't care. I'll fight everyone. I come here to take my money and kill everybody. And um, w when you say, like, you don't care, so you'd be open just to taking any, any other fights? Because I assume yeah, you know, the whatever belt Whatever they want, I want to smash everyone. They have to give me that title if I smash everyone. We're going to be next. I don't, I don't care. Yeah, and we've seen you uh, in your career go up to middleweight and kind of compete in both weight classes. Is that back and forth done? Is 170 the main focus now? No, more focus on 170. We'll see if my coach says we can do it. But I listened to my coach. I promised him I was going to do what he said. And we'll see what's happening. Yeah. Do you think uh, a fight between you and Usman is the biggest fight that can be made in the division right now? No, I don't think so. I think more like... People want to see Easy and me, but Usman, nobody knows that guy, you know. And he's old and Easy, more fresh, young, you know, like me. And then he want, I think he want to fight me as well because he he although he did fight with everyone, 84 kilos. He's like me, you know, to fight everyone. And I want to do it the same. Yeah. A lot of people think that Usman today is the pound for pound best. You know, obviously active fighters. Um, do you think he he's the very best? I don't think so, because when st still John Jones here, nobody can be pound for pound. I don't think so. I, who make that pound for pound shit, you know? And nobody did. Well, John Jones did. He's one of the best guys in this game. Nobody like him. Thank you. Hamzat, приветствую. Uh, вот ты несколько недель назад вместе с Дарном Тилом встречался с Дэйном Уайтом. Uh, расскажи, о чем вы говорили, и можешь ли ты сейчас сказать, что у вас uh, с uh, Дэйном Уайтом такие, ну, как приятельские отношения, что ли? Ты можешь там в любой момент что-то написать, что-то спросить? Да, у нас хорошие отношения, дружим друг с другом. Мы встречались, покушали, поговорили о спорте. Ничего таком. После боя чего будет туда, да, вот так. В бою против Ли Джин Ляна ты буквально там пронес его через половину клетки, что ты говорил Дэнни Уайту. Есть ли у тебя какая-то заготовка на бой против Гилберта Бёрнса, чтобы сделать ну, что-то такое же яркое? Или... У меня заготовок не бывает. Я просто иду, делаю свое дело, само собой получается все такие вещи. А рассчитываешь ли ты, что в углу Гилберта Бёрнса будет Камар Усман? И есть ли у тебя план, если он там окажется? Я надеюсь, что он там будет. Буду пугать его, бить его друга. Спасибо. Down here on your right. Uh, you said to start this that Gilbert isn't the toughest guy that you've ever fought. So who would you say that is? What? You said to start this that Gilbert wouldn't be your toughest opponent. So who have you fought in your career? Who said he's toughest opponent? I'm, I'm from uh, Joe said that Gilbert is the toughest motstander. Inte är den toughaste killen i din karriär. Vem var den toughaste? I think one guy I met in, in the Brave. Uh, There is Ikram Maliskero. He has to be in the UFC. That guy is good. I think he won five fights after me. And uh, that guy is really good. And uh, Dana indicated after your last fight that you were breaking all types of social media and engagement records uh, in the promotion for that fight. Have you been able to, or how have you been able to shut out the distractions of fame to stay consistent with your training like you have been? You speak to so fast, brother. <laughs> so my English not that good, brother. So Dana said after your last fight that you were breaking a lot of records on social media for engagement and promotion. Uh, how are you able to keep uh, distractions of fame away so you can stay with your training? I don't think about that things, you know, like what I do. It's like history and these things. But I just go back and work hard and come back and smash somebody, take my mom and go home, rest again, start again. All right, thank you. Hamza, down here on, on your left. Uh, Kamar Usman has, uh, has actually been helping Gilbert Burns during his training. What is that, one hour? <laughs> how, how do you feel about that, that your opponent is being helped by the champion and, and they're, he's the uh, contender as well? <laughs> I don't know. He can bring all the world. He, there's not helping him you know, when it comes to the cage. He can bring all Nigeria if he wants. No problem. Why you didn't sleep last night, brother? 
I sleep good, brother. <laughs> Diron stinks. <laughs>